Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is add minimum characters and it is a medium level problem. So this particular problem says that we have been given a string add. We have to find the minimum number of characters to be added in the front of the string to make it a palindrome. So like the sample test case that have been given are like pretty straightforward. So there is no need to discuss it, but I'll just tell you anyway, just for the sake of discussion. But the sample test cases are not like uh, well good enough to describe the problem. So it says that the string is A, B, C, D. Right. So what you can do is you can uh, add B here and then C here and then D here. Then only it will become a palindrome. Right. So the num minimum number of characters you added were 3. Now if the, pal if the input string was A, B, A. Now this is already a palindrome. So the minimum number of characters we need to add add in front of the strings are 0 right so this is the whole problem statement now let us discuss how this problem can be solved so let us say like this is some string i am not writing the characters let us just assume that there are some characters present there right so if the first character is matching this particular position the second character is matching this particular position and let's say the third character is itself so it is matching itself right this is the case of a palindrome. Right? This is what we actually need. But what if the first character was matching, right? But the these two characters are not matching. This is not valid. What do we do in this case? So if the case is like this, then we definitely know that we need to add some character in front of it such that it is matching with this. And then we can check the same thing again on the remaining characters so we have to add one character in the beginning right once we have added it we can match these two characters and we are adding one new character so definitely if if x is present here we are going to add x here only right since the original string was not a palindrome so we decided to add one character in the beginning now these two characters are same now we try to match these two characters and these two characters Right. If any one of them fails, right, if any one of them fails, that means we still have to do some work. Then we will add one more character. Let's say it was x here now. And let us assume that this was y. So this is also y now. Right. We are just trying, if we are adding some characters at the beginning, we just make sure that they are uh, like equivalent to the corresponding characters from the end. Right. Now we again check. With these two characters will definitely be equal because we have added them. These two characters will definitely be equal because we have added them. Now we have to like think about these two characters. Whether they are equal or not. If they are equal, then well and good. And the middle character will always be equal to itself. Right. So this is how the flow of uh, the problem will go. The solution will go. But we have to think how we can calculate this particular thing efficiently. Right. So what we have to do is like if we have some strings right here. So if I have, have some characters in a string like this, right? So in order to check whether all the characters are same or not, these matches this, this matches this, this matches this, right? To check whether all the characters matches accurately or not, what I can do is I can write the string. For example, the string was, uh, let's say, A, B, B, A, right? I can write the original string. I can write the reverse string, right? When I have the, these two strings, let us assume that this is some pattern and this is some original string S, right? Now, my task is to find this particular pattern in this original string S, right? This is my task. Now, since it like completely matches the pattern and the original string is, then we have, we know that this is a palindrome itself, that this, these two characters are equivalent, these two characters are equivalent, these two characters, this particular character is equivalent, right? Now, you like, you must take care that this is not the original string, but this is the reverse. Now, let me show you some, another example, so that it is more clear to you. Because this is the same string, so the palindrome doesn't make any difference. The reverse string and the original string are also looking the same. So now if I have something like a, a, 
B D. Now, if I reverse it, you will see that this is equals to B B A. Now, this is my pattern or the reverse string. This is my original string S. If I try to find this pattern in this particular string, I will not be able to find it because they are not exactly identical or they are not palindromes. Right? This particular string is not a palindrome and they are not reverses of each other. So, I will not be able to find it. Right? So, it does not match. So, what I have to do is I have to add some character in front of the string. And what would be that character? Obviously, the character should be equal to the last character. So, let me just assume that I have added B here. Now, I don't have to explicitly add this particular character, but I can just keep track like in the back of my mind that uh, I have added somewhere B here. Right? So, now I know that this is the last character. If this is the last character of the string, I already have a matching character for it in the beginning of this one. So, I move on to the next character and just compare it from there. So, the next two characters is BA and the initial string S will also be reduced by one space. So, my search space is now this and in this thing and in the reverse thing, my search space is this. So, I am finding the pattern BA in the original string AB. Now, it again doesn't match. Right. So, what I can do is I can add this character B in front of the string. So, now I have two Bs. Right. Again, I am not explicitly adding them. I am just like keeping the track in back of my mind that I am adding. Right. I do not have to add them explicitly. Now, my pattern upgrades and the new pattern is I just have this particular thing here and this particular thing. Now, I match the pattern with the original string S. Both are equal A and A. So, that means I have found my palindrome. So, the palindrome will be B, B, A, B, P. That means I have found the palindrome and I required two number of steps, right? Because I added two characters in front of my string. So, what you essentially have to do is you just have to uh, like make the original string, take the reverse string. When you have these two strings, you compare them. If they don't compare, you remove the last character from the original string. And you remove the first character from the original string. Why we are doing this? Because we are assuming that this particular character, last character P, is now matching with some other character B, which is in the starting of the string. Right. So we are now left with the last two characters, and we are assuming that this these will be the uh, second and the third characters. Right. So we want to match this particular B with this particular B. It's like, for example, if I had something like this. So if I have B here, I know that this B is not matching to A. So, what I instead do is I um, mark this as B and I match this with this and now I am trying to match this particular position with this particular position. Right. This is exactly what is happening there. Now, again this is not matching. So, what I instead do is I this is again B this is not matching. So, what I do is I again insert a B. Now, this B will match with this B like this. Second B will match with the second last B like this and then the new character that I have here is A. Right. So, what I do is I just try to match this A with this A. Now, if this A matches, that means we have found our palindrome. Right. So, that is why I was like removing one character from the end, from the initial string S, and one character from the starting from the reverse string. Right. So, this is exactly what you have to do. Now, there are actually a couple of ways to do this, and uh, I found a very like simple way where you don't have to calculate the substrings again and again. You can use any pattern matching algorithm. So, I will be using the Z function. So, what Z function essentially does. So, for, uh, the, the correct way to use the Z function is you have a pattern. You add a delimiter to it. So, delimiter should be any character which is not present in the string. So, in, in this case, I can use a question mark and I use the origin string S. So, this would be the final string that I will be passing to the Z function. Now, what does the Z function return? The C function will return a vector. So, let us say that this is a vector of int and the name is C. Right. So, it will return me a vector and at any index of the vector, the Z function will denote what is the length, maximum length of the prefix of this particular string. Right. That is also starting from i. So, for example, if a, b, a, b is here and I have a question mark in between and I have a, b, a, b here. So, at this particular index, I, the answer would be 4 or this G function will store 4. Why? Because starting from this index, I have 4 characters 
which are also which are also the first four characters of the string right at this particular position the answer will be zero because starting from this particular index starting from this particular index the first character is not same so it is not a, pre a prefix of this particular string right again start for this particular character the answer will be two because starting from this particular position we have two characters that are also the first two characters of the string right so this is using pattern matching and uh, i can use the reverse of the string s with a question mark in between and the original string s right so this way i know if the whole pattern is matching then the length of the remaining characters for example if here for example here the whole pattern was matching so the length of the remaining characters were 4 and the value was also 4 so if these two values are same that means the whole pattern is matching otherwise the whole pattern doesn't match right so let me just quickly summarize the thought process now what we will do is if you have some two strings like a b b and b b a i'll just try to match the, this is the original string s this is the reverse string, reverse string of s now try to match the first two characters the whole pattern now try to match the whole pattern this pattern is not equal so i assume that i need to add b somewhere in front of it so let me just also write it then this way so we have three characters if b was here and a was here i was trying to match these two characters these didn't match so what i instead do is i just add one character to the front of it and i assume that these two characters are matching right so now i have to remove one character from the end for this from this add one character from the beginning from this so we are essentially removing this particular last character and we are considered about this particular character now so again this is also b this is not matching so what we do is we again add a b in front of it and we as we match these two characters that these should these two should be equal and then these two should be equal after this is done we remove one more character from the string from the end of the string and since this the second string is the reverse we remove one more character from the beginning of the string so now we are left with a and a and these two characters are matching that means we have found our result right so essentially these this particular string and this particular string should be matching now to do this to accomplish this particular task we are using uh, a pattern matching algorithm called z function we can use any pattern mat matching algorithm as long as we are able to get this information that the pattern starting from this particular position is also starting is also present in the same thing now you would observe that uh, the same thing would happen for example if uh, i had the original string s here and the reverse string s here rev here so uh, if i like start from this particular position i need to check whether the first three character this value is 3 or not if this value is 3 that means the last three characters are equal to the first three characters right if i am at the at uh, this particular position i need to check whether this value is 2 or not because if this value is 2 that means the last two characters are equal to the first two characters so you see this is what exactly what we are checking the last two the, the sum of the last character should be equal to the sum of the first characters right so this is exactly what we were checking here and we can easily find this with the help of z function so let me just quickly uh, show you the code so in this particular thing uh, first of all i have copied this function of z function from cpl gotham it is the same function that uh, they have explained you can also use this and you can also use any other pattern matching algorithm. Now I have taken the string uh, x and y and reverse the string y. Now I just form a string x plus the question mark that is the delimiter and the y. Now I calculate the z function. Now starting from the string of i plus 1 is position. So this position at this position uh, the string y will essentially start. Right. So I need to take a start from the y string. Now I just calculate the what is the size that I need. So that means how many characters are remaining including the current character after it right so i need this these number of characters right so if z of i is equals to the need that means the number of characters that i need are also the number of characters that i have so what this function essentially does is as i have explained if i am at this particular position a b a b and again i have some characters here a b a b and this is question so that means four characters are remaining here right so i need the first four characters of this string to be matching so this value should be four right so this is what i am calculating the value of z of this particular index z of this particular index should be four right if i am at the at this particular position that means two of the characters are remaining that means the last two characters should be equal to the first two characters 
right if you recall the definition of the z function this is exactly what it gives us so i'm just checking how many characters are remaining so that is stored in the need and if z of i is equals to need that means i found my answer and i can just add the uh, some number of characters at the beginning of the string to make it a palindrome and that number of characters would be i minus string of size minus 1 so if this was zero index this was 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and let us assume we have found our answer at the seventh index right so the z of uh, size of z would be 9 right now that means if i if i have found my answer at index 7 that means i have already uh, added these two characters in the beginning of the string so the answer should be 2 so what i can do is i can take this index 7 and i can subtract this particular thing from it right so the string of size is 4 i take the current index 7 so 7 minus 4 it is equals to 3 but i only have two characters in between so i just do minus 1 so this is the character i either at the index i this is string of size and this is one this is exactly what i have written in the code so this is i at the current index and the string of size minus 1 so i can just return it from here and this will be my final answer so this was the solution of today's problem add minimum characters i hope you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel it's always free of course and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't find the content interesting and till the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye